there and welcome to Neofight.tv, a technology show for the not so geeky. My name is Tiffany Young. And I'm Ben Friedman. And today on the show, I'm super happy. You know why? <laughs> oh, it's a bag. I we're see bags. We're shooting bags. <laughs> and I love bags. And today we're, we were sent a couple of bags by our good friends at Mac Case. Very nice. And uh, they do all, the, you know, the very diverse set of bags. Our first bag is their, their, their bag. They call this the Mac Case Classic. Oh my gosh, that so goes with your shirt. <laughs> I tell you, this design of a case, um, I don't know if you remember, because I know you probably weren't really into Macs back then, but the first Macs, that, the first like Mac lap, well, they weren't the first, but there was a set of Mac laptops that kind of had a teardrop shape, and they came in three or four different colors, uh -huh. orange, and, and they kind of had this uh, toilet seat looking <laughs> shape. I never would have come up with that, but... That's, that's kind of what they have. So, yeah. uh, apparently Matt Case had a style of bags when they did that, and they were just so popular, they brought those mm -hmm. back now, but sized for regular sized laptops. So, for instance, this, I will open it up. And this is a great case for, like, college kid or something mm -hmm. like that, who, or even, even younger than that. But, you know, you take your Mac, and it goes in here, like... Nice oh, padding. It is a lot of really... Yeah, feel mm -hmm. that padding. Look how cushy that is. Ah, uh, that's really nice. Yeah. And this fits closed. And of course, you know, so that the thieves who are looking for laptops know that you have a Mac, you can get to see your little Perfect. Mac icon there right through the uh, case. <laughs> because it's very fashionable to have a Mac. It is. And on the back, uh, you have a, an, another storage pocket here. Yeah, take a look at that. Some more stuff. So you room for your cords, power yeah, cords. cords and mm -hmm. a, not a ton of room in this case. It's not a huge case. It's kind of chick -y. I don't know, would, would a guy buy this sort of case? I, I mean, thought it was yeah, more guy -y than chick -y. You think this is more guy -y mm -hmm, than chick -y? Definitely. The colors are... Orange and white? Mm -hmm. I, it just looks manly to me. And it looks like a purse. I don't know. It looks yeah. manly to you. It looks manly to me. Uh -huh. You know, it's amazing the different things that different people it, come up with. Perception. Different yeah. perception. But I tell you, what you are right Great about design. is... Great design. I love the yeah, pockets. Feel, feel how much padding there is in here. That is amazing. It's a lot I mean, of, a really lot good of padding. padding. It's going to protect your left off. Well, and it's cushy up here, too. Mm -hmm. Shoulder strap. So I like the design. Looking for, yeah, if you want retro, this is retro. Definitely. This mm -hmm. is the definition of yep. retro right here, is the uh, Mac Case Classic. And, you know, it's like clothing. You know, there are so many different styles. Sure. And being unique is a big deal. No one's going to run off your laptop case. I mean... You're not going to see this very often. Like luggage, all black luggage. That's luggage, right. luggage. Now, also from that case, on the other end, and by the way, that's um, that case is $49. Oh, my gosh. Not that's very inexpensive. Yeah. Ooh, now I like this, that. This. Oh, does that does that laptop fit in that case? No. Oh. This is, uh, although they do make this version for the, the bigger like, laptop. Wow. This is, uh, again, from Matt Case. Uh, this is a little more expensive, 170 mm -hmm. But it is leather. And it's this real is leather. designed as a vertical yeah. sleeve case for, in this case, the MacBook Air. Oh, that okay. is so neat. They do have a bigger one, though, that I think is 190 that yeah. will take the, the, a larger size laptop. This is so you. Yeah? Yeah, I think so. Well, do you think this is too man, Percy? No, I don't think so. I mean, I think that gives now you a little this, element of style. Yeah, it does. This this uh, thing here pops off, mm -hmm. so you can put your tr your uh, travel charger and all that sort of mm -hmm. stuff in here, and then it clips on in there. That so flips cl closed. We've just done quite a bit of traveling yeah. the last week or so, and um, one thing that I was really noticing is that the strap right here is long enough to go around the front, right. so you carry it like a messenger bag. Carry it like a messenger mm -hmm. bag, yes. I think if, if it's over one shoulder, it looks really gay. I think one shoulder means you're gay. <laughs> Two shoulders, or you know, if it's over just like one shoulder, but if it's over your shoulder and your chest, that's messenger back, that's band purse, not gay. Not gay. Okay, so does it matter if it's the right shoulder or left shoulder? Kind of like the flower in Hawaii, you know? Right the ear. In yeah, you, right ear means you're taken, left ear means you're single. And no ear? No ear means that you are not with the culture. I see. Okay. You are not, yeah. It's either you're single. I love this leather though. I don't know it what you do when you're separated. Soft. I just feel that. I mean, it's, I love it. And I love the well, smell. This is an amazing case and it has a great design. Yeah. I love it. This is a good woman case or man case. I agree. Definitely versatile yeah, and I agree. lovely colors. I think as long as you're going across the chest, you're not going to be mm -hmm. thought of as super. And for gay. women, the, you know, it's so much more convenient. But for women, when it lands across the chest, it yeah. goes like across this way. Yeah. Which makes it. Between. Yeah. Yeah. We have to 
right. wear it across here. I think, I think everyone knows what you're getting at. So, yeah. Um, so sometimes I don't always work, but this is a nice thin strap, which so makes a nice So if you're looking difference. for a high style case that's going to protect, but, and is a little, like I say, obviously a little more exclusive at the price, 170 yeah. bucks, mm -hmm. not for everyone, but definitely stylish. This is the matte case leather flight case, and they have this in a couple of different sizes and colors mm -hmm. and stuff. And then the other one down here was the uh, Mac Case Classic. So Love two it. great cases from our good friends at Mac Case. And I like that they're diverse. City. Very diverse line. Yeah. They have all different mm -hmm. kinds of cases. Go check them out. See everybody. And if you uh, have a moment, we've got another section coming up right after this, so please stay tuned. stay tuned. Are you still lighting your videos the old fashioned way? Heavy, fragile lighting fixtures? Hot lights that make your talent sweat? Gels and filters to match your colors? Time to take a look at the Xylite LED lighting system, the future of lighting today. Small, compact, and durable LED lights with high wattage output. Cool LED technology won't overheat your talent. And multicolor presets let you instantly choose from daylight, tungsten, or custom colored illumination. Fully dimmable at the touch of a button. And each Psylite comes with wireless networking built in for easy remote control. For more information, visit Xylite today at www.xylite.com. And we're back and in the second spotlight today, we are going to be reviewing this little guy here. But let me tell you a quick story before we get to that. Uh, Tiffany and I just flew back from Carson City, Nevada, mm -hmm. where we were there for a couple of days. And I had my little duffel Gambling, bag. Drinking. Uh, yeah, we were there shooting a video mm -hmm. and, and, and <laughs> other stuff. But we were there and we or had, I had this little duffel bag, what, yay big. You had this suitcase that would have impressed the guys that put up Stonehenge, okay? It was huge, it, it, big it, black I 2001 have model. I wardrobe it. to pack, half of that's like makeup, now you what, know, shoes. What, half of it was makeup. What happened at the airport? <laughs> oh, uh, so, okay, so I did a little shopping. Really that bag was half full, half full before I got home. And uh, I did a little shopping and bought some things. Right. So that bag got real heavy really fast. Right. What is it now? It's an extra, uh, $15, 30, I mean, you have to pay for luggage on a lot of airlines right That's now right. anyway. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Cut to the point. Going over is a really bad thing because you're paying that money so plus extra. what happened extra. to the airport? So, anyway, it was over. It was over, what, a pound so and a half. So she goes up to the checkout counter. I'm going to actually turn this into, you know, sentences. She goes to the checkout counter, and the <laughs> guy, lady says, can you put it up on the scale? We put it on the scale, and it comes up at like 52. It was 51.5. 51.5. So and the limit is 50, and we're like... If only we had a way of knowing. So, getting back to the product two minutes into the show. This is uh, called the uh, the Balanza. Balanza? How do you pronounce that? Balanza. Balanza? Balanza? Balanza. It is a very inexpensive $20 digital scale mm -hmm. that you can use to weigh stuff before you go to the airport. And this is how I did Great our idea. camera gear. Let me find something I can uh, weigh here. So, here is a lap uh, uh, backpack. And, I don't know, pick it up. Tell me what you think it weighs. Oh, yeah, I got, um, I got some stuff. I got a laptop in there and a bunch of other stuff. I'm going to say uh, nine pounds. Nine pounds. Okay. So what you do is you turn this on and yeah. you let it zero itself. And then you, you have to clip it around. Stuff like this. Ooh, you're standing up. I was going to lift it up. Don't you have to stand up to lift it up? I don't know if we can get away with it without doing that. And basically, okay, why don't you lift it up and you have to hold yeah. it until it beeps. Ready? Okay, that'd be kind of quick. Let me yeah. zero it again. Hold on a second. Uh, reset. Okay. okay. Pull it up and hold it till it beeps. Okay. Okay, there it goes. What do you guess? Uh, 11 pounds. 8.4. 8.4. That's close. 8.4 pounds. So the greatest thing is, you know, you put this on anything and it will tell you exactly how much that thing weighs. I did this with all of the luggage that we had and it was fantastic because I got, I got them to like 48, 49 pounds. <laughs> exactly. So they were like just under the 50 pound limit. Perfect. And we got down, we put the scales on and I did not get the admonishment that you did. Because, well, I didn't even know you had that thing. Well, there you go. Well, now I do. That's what you get for missing staff. So. Things. 
<laughs> I didn't miss a step. Oh, maybe you did. Uh, so Alaska. In Alaska, they do a ton of fishing. And yeah. everyone at the airport, last minute, is trying to juggle fish in between to get exactly to 50 pounds. Juggle fish? They are. It's the, you know, I, they do. There's coolers picture. all over the airport. This is a fantastic product. Yeah. And it's small enough that you can take it with you. Exactly. So you could have packed it and add it to your luggage weight. Mm -hmm. Easy to use. Easy to read. You just uh, clip it to something, hold it up until it beeps, and then it tells you how much it Great weighs. product. That'll yeah. save you some bucks. You probably paid for that the first time. Yeah. Yeah, At least I would. <laughs> I would give it a five out of five. I, there's nothing wrong with it. Um, I think it's a great unit. It works great. Five out of five for me, too. Uh, five disagree. out of five for me. Five out of five for Tiffany. Yeah. Ten out of ten for the Balanza Scales, 1995. <gasps> Ooh. Yeah, good great deal price. for that. And uh, so that's a great unit if you do a lot of traveling or if you just want to see how much things weigh, mm -hmm. you know, for whatever reason. Yeah. That's all the time we have for this week. But uh, please tell us your airport horror stories. I'm sure you have a few out there. Leave hey, us a comment. do they let you get away with a pound and a half? Do they just say, okay, next time? Does it really matter? Is it the gate agent's choice? It's the gate agent's choice. She, could, she, let, she let Tiffany get away because she was one and a half pounds over. Yeah. And you didn't want to get into a big ruckus. I knew that, yeah. I mean, it's a pound and a half. I weigh less than him. I mean, really, if it's about weight. Yeah, That's okay, we didn't want to go there. I weigh 100 pounds more than you do. Yeah. So on the airplane, I'm still taking up more weight. That would be, that, I was prepared www.neo-fight.tv. Leave us a comment. Tell us what yeah. you think of the show. Thoughts. And we will, uh, yeah. What were we going to say? Oh, just thoughts, questions, things Answers, you'd like to see on the show. Solutions, yeah. problems, send money. Send cash. Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> if you haven't have an extra 30 seconds, take a look at this. Hey, I'm Andy Walker. Have you just bought a new computer with Windows Vista on it? Or maybe you've got an old XP computer you upgraded. Well, we've just created an amazing new DVD. It'll teach you everything you need to know about the new operating system from Microsoft. It's called Getting Started with Windows Vista. In this DVD, there are three sections. One is out of the box. What do you need to do as soon as you start up Vista? Number two is Vista Essentials, things you need to know every day to make your computer experience amazing. Antivirus, security, all kinds of new features that Vista offers. And finally, geek tips and tricks, things you need to know that nobody else will have told you to make you a Vista guru. For more information, check out our website at gettingstartedvideo.com.